Mm -hmm. So, the, this is a simple residential building setting up. We have just started it this morning. First of all, you need basic construction tools and basic measuring tools. So, first of all, you need your builder square, more hammer to drive in the peck. You need uh, pegs, you need masonry line, you need carpenter's hammer, you need your nails and your profile board, which is wawa board. One by twelve. As you see on the side plan or block plan, this one it says you have to measure the frontage. You have to get. 10 meters, 10.59 meters. So we'll take the measurement of our first setback. And this is what we will use to set, to set as our reference point. So this line is the frontage of the building. And in the design, from the building to the first wall, we have three meters. So we measure our three meters uh, parallel to the first wall. So this is our three meters. This is our 10.59 meters. So you get your square and you have set two of your building perpendicular line. Then you use your tape measure to do your measurement. Before you do that, your profile board must be level so that when you thread the tape, it doesn't give you a displacement distance. So the profile board must be level and perfectly square so that any stretch of line, you will get it at that point. At this point, I will call our site and chief engineer to take you through the dimension of the setting out. Engineer Conan. You are welcome on board. So, so first, first of all, after we've set the building reference points, what we are going to do is we are going to set up the grid lines of the building. So we have, with this main drawing, we have um, four main grid lines, okay? So these are the grid lines that we are going to establish. Now, with the established uh, parallel line of the building, the, the outside building line, we are now going to take the measurements from the first point to the next uh, grid line. So over here, we have from the first to the, the second one, we have, uh, that's uh, 5175. So we take the measure at the first point. So this is the first established grid line. So from this grid line to the next point. This is supposed to be 5175. The dimension is in millimeters. So we have our five meters, point one, and then seventy-five. So we do the same for the other grid lines. So after we get that for the first building line, then we go to the next, the next uh, building line where we set up the uh, grid lines for the other side of the building. So with this, we are able to get the building reference point. By reference point, I mean the column positions and then where we are going to have the strip footing for the foundation. Thank you. Uh, if you can just explain why there is that small gap between the center grid line and the... Just, yes, yes, explain where the tunnels. is. Yeah. Okay, so now, this particular line we have here, 
this is the external line of the building line okay now the block work that we are going to use is six inches that is 150 millimeters now to establish the grid line which is passing through the center of the block we need to deduct 75 mm okay. millimeters because let's wait on the foundation of the block line so let's wait on the foundation line the next one so as you can the see layout. So, as I wanted something like this. So, the first one was the external. Where's the foundation? Layer? Okay. So, now this we are setting out this portion. So, as you can see, the grid line A is passing through the center of the block work or the beam, the ground beam. So, the beam is 150 mm thick. So what this means is that the grid line is passing at the 75 mm mark of the the block work. That's the center of the block work. So that that was why we took first this one was the exterior building line. That is the the, the outside of the block work. So we measure 75 mm so that we get we, we get the the center line of the grid line of the block with thank you